Whoa! What's hey, up? Here we are. Welcome to uh, Summit again. Summit, which one is it? We're going to play Mario Party, not us. But This is the good part of Summit. This is the good part. This is the part, some would say, that actually like matters the most. Now that I'm retired from Melee, yes. and we've just been playing Party all the time, I'm so glad that we could come to it. That's right. For, for those who aren't initiated, this is my good friend Don B. Uh, he is an Australian smasher. He's also uh, part of the Bad Melee yeah, podcast. Yeah, and, and more importantly, MPL starter. Right, of course. A starter for the MPL, which is the Mario Party League, which is just something, uh, a little bit of an underground project we've been working on. But Team, you sure aren't hung, Lud? That's right. Um, the, the one half of a whole um, on his team. But what we'll be doing is we'll be commentating the Mario Party match coming up, and I'm not even sure of the players. I'm hoping it's teams. I'm hoping it's teams, too, because that's, for one, it's MPL standard. For two, the meta, when teams are involved, becomes very strategic and deep. It's just much more pure-hearted, you know. You can have a guy who's maybe sipping, maybe getting a little bored of the game. He decides, hey, this guy next to me, I don't want him to win. I'm going to throw this mini so that Mr. Third can win. That's right. And, and that's something we try to avoid here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how it goes in our house, at least. You know, when the guy you don't like to win, if you got no shot, you're throwing. Right. And so here is our, our competitors right here. We have okay. Hungrybox, Mango, Zane, and Amsa. I'm trying to see Hungrybox and Mango on the same team. I would like that, too, because you know what? Sometimes it's the people you don't vibe with that end up you, you end up succeeding. <laughs> Turn five, they're just yelling concede. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what goes on in our house when a game goes south. Yeah. So. We got DK. We got DK on Larion. board. Larion, Waluigi, Waluigi, and the Yosh. So this, obviously this is going to show how much they know about. The yeah. Game. So basically, the the way this works is that Shy Guys uh, Jungle Jam is the battlefield, if we're using melee terms, yeah. of Mario Party Four. Just ask the other team, hey, you want to start Shy's? Start Shy's, and that's and I that's like an that. honorable decision, and I like that a lot. I don't know who is controlling the menus right now, but he's definitely not a nightmare on. Them. Yeah. Some some are known to be a, a nom or a nightmare on the menus, and I feel like everyone here. Teams, it's gonna be okay. it's gonna be a four-player free-for-all. Not great uh, for a you know a, I would say a tournament. I think these guys' hearts are all in it though, and they're, they're gonna try to win. I would hope so, right? And here we go. That shy guy, Mans, has a nice cowboy hat on his head. I wonder how much Mario Party gets played in Japan. That's a good question. I don't know what the culture's opinions on Mario Party are. I know they're big fans of Mario. I know they love to party. Well, well, there you go. So maybe it's just it's just a slam dunk. Yeah, if it's anything like the way we play, and of what I know of Japanese culture, I think they'd love it. I think so too. Right. So let's see what we got here. Low roll for the Yash. Mango, I believe, is DK uh, from the gestures he was doing. You know what? If Hungry Box is Luigi, that makes so much sense. How so? You know how Ludwig is also a Luigi? That's right. Our good friend Ludwig is a Luigi main in Mario Party 4, and it seems that him and Xbox share a certain kinship. Yeah, yeah. Both pop off. Both pop off. Both love to win. That's true. Started from the bottom, grinded super hard. Okay, Mango. Let's see what he gets here. He big probably, man, small he probably man. wants a big man, and big there man. it is. Always a good one to have in the pocket, especially yeah. early game. I'd love to see... Healthy age. I want to see no hiddens this game. No hiddens, really? Yeah. So that's it. I, d I didn't actually check where bonus stars on. That's huge. I, they ate. They ate through, so I think bonus stars are on. Okay. If bonus stars are on, that adds definitely some depth to the meta game here. There are three bonus stars for those who are not in the know. There's the minigame coin star, which is the most coins earned in traditional minigames. No, not yeah, not battle including games. battles, of course. And not counting anything else. Um, and there is a happening space star, which the a player with the most amount of happening space lands gets a star. And then obviously the uh, coin peak star, so the most amount of coins had held by a player at, a certain, at any time. At the any game. time, that's right. They get a star too. So bonus stars, while they may seem bullshit, they actually it's pretty cut and dry, and it's uh, it's not. You can a bad really way. play around it. Uh -huh. Now in this mini game. The snowman's throw in a counterclockwise, generally, direction. You see which snowman is about to throw by the, his little jump? Yes. And he throws where you were. So he chooses a target and then throws, like, basically where somebody was. Right. So you don't want to be running into a path where somebody just was. 
because there's potentially a snowball headed for that spot. That's right. So it's about spatial awareness, keeping an eye on your opponent's like position as well as your own, obviously. Also, being as central as possible is key because if a snowball's coming, that man behind you is going to take it. We got a LeBron on the field. And, and look, that's what I was saying. He's on the outside of the circle. He got auto hit. You know? Yes. And you'll see a lot of those. When you when you get hit in the middle, you either got body blocked, which is what, oh, and that's just a bad beat. Yeah. Ooh. But see where Yosh was? Luigi actually took that snowball for him because he was on the inside. That's right. And I will say, I think DK has a little bit of a struggle on that minigame because of his hitbox. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But he makes that back up in Book Squirm. Book Squirm, yes. He is a bully on the book. Bully on the book. Nice Nightmare time. on the ice, bully on the book. It's true. <laughs> Doesn't even look at the map. Very Doesn't even think play. about the shop. <laughs> this is a happening space, unfortunately. Okay, so I just saw that the star was in the position uh, top left ish where you have to mini mushroom through that pipe. Oh, I see. So that's an interesting first star, just right after Boo as well. So you can you can actually get a star and hit Boo in the same turn. That in is, that position. That's amazing. You know, obviously early game, that's a lot of keys. That's a seventy coin smackdown yes. right there. So we got first happening for Larion here. And you know what we've been saying? I've never seen the first uh, first shy guy of the game be unhappy. You know what? I've I think never it's seen that. He's just happy that the, the everyone's there. He's happy to get started. He just likes the party. And that's a battle mini game. Looking like a 20 would clean everybody out except for Yoshi. These other guys are hoping for a 20. 10. That's great for Yosh. It is great for Yosh, yeah. I'm gonna get Hammer's through. Hammer? That's so interesting. Whoever hammered through to uh, Butterflies in our house, that would cause a lot of friction. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, what we would call, for lack of a better word, a, a pussy move. We hate Butterflies. <laughs> we, we like, I mean, you know. But it's damned if you do, damned if you don't, because I've seen a man choose the RNG game and, and then not and be called the same thing. It's true. Yeah, you, you, you can't win um, in with, when the boys are <laughs> screaming in your ears. So sometimes. for those of you who don't know, blue butterflies in this game are worth far more points than uh, yeah, gold Yeah, Waluigi whiffing about seven times to hit that blue. I hope it was worth it for him. I also don't believe Waluigi knows that you can swing horizontally. Yeah, little inside tip, horizontal is much more busted than uh, overhead. Yeah. So the B button, I believe, is the horizontal swing, and Waluigi is just hammering, hammering. There's one. Yoshi's hammering away, too. I haven't been keeping an eye, been kind of keeping an eye on the hijinks of this. Absolutely awful, Waluigi. Fucking hate this game, dude. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so think Mango might actually be player one. I, I'd, have to, I'd have to find out, but. Somebody hammered through and Mango wasn't happy about it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I think I won. Really? I, I went pretty Asian. <laughs> I think. I don't really know how you guys did that. Let's go, Mango. Oh, See, you don't you don't want to be getting you don't want to be getting points early in this leaderboard yeah, because that means you usually get surpassed. Yeah. You're about to see right that's here. exactly what's gonna happen. Yoshi got a clean 42, 45, oh, no. and Mango was catching them blues. That's huge. It is huge. <laughs> well said. Fuck that game. That game sucks, dude. Zane knows what's up. All right, let's see what it's it's funny how people have come the to the similar con uh, <laughs> conclusions as like the. The average MP4 player has come to the same conclusion as we have. We have about that a lot that of these game things. is whack. Yeah, I think universally it is. Nice item. Not bad. He does want to cover some ground, but an item doesn't hurt. Also, he can roll. That's great for that him is huge. because if he was to play this mini mushroom next turn, it would give him a two, a three, or a four to hit happening. That's right. Which would be a 60% chance of hitting happening. However, didn't you say that he could go up with that mini? He could choose to go up if he gets a low roll. And then he can mini up through the pipe, but he needs to win this battle. He this, could this mini up through that pipe, but there is nothing up there. It's the other mini pipe oh, where the star bad. is. Oh, my Okay, right, right. Yeah, that's a good play to get a happening, almost confirmed, yeah. at least a better chance of it. 60%. You want to confirm a happening oh, here, to stay in the race for that star. That's right. So Team Charger Strike, a lot of people don't know this. There are three maps for this. There are actually two, and there are, oh, two, that's uh, right. <laughs> there are four variations of each map. Yes, they, what, what happens is the map simply gets rotated. And some of the maps and the placements given are actually unbeatable. It's just an unfortunate quirk of the I game. I mean, if, if both players take very uh, direct routes, then yeah, certain positionings are unwinnable for teams. Yes. But I mean, the the thing about this game is that there's 
It's easy to make a mistake. It's easy to take a wrong turn. And blue team's gonna take that one. Mango is making <laughs> Dude, money out here. I'll say that like, much. Oh, I've never seen that before. Mango's two for two oh, in minis right so now. Weird. Oh no, sorry. There no, was, was Mr. Blizzard's also. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Which Blizzard's was won by Luigi. Yoshi? Oh, Yoshi. Okay. And who unfortunately got his uh, coins taken. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bang, oh, Bang's in a good yeah, position, but I know he likes to uh, hold down and let <laughs> and, uh, and Shy let Guy decide whether he's getting his yeah, star or not. Yeah, he likes to leave it up to the big 50-50 in the sky. So, I, I, I assume we'll see another okay. battle minigame. This could be catastrophic for DK as well. And now he's hoping for a 5. <laughs> oh, wow, it's a big break. <laughs> Just yeah, enough to keep everybody else full. <laughs> for this mini game. No, hey, so okay, so for everybody at home, this mini game, it's a race to the finish, and there are uh, there are two path parts where the paths diverge. Now it's random. Each time you take a turn for each player, whether you get a long path or a short path. Yes. So so slime and I could both go left, and one of us could get a long path, one of us could get a short path. Mm -hmm. So it's about not falling and kind of doing the best with the cards you're dealt. So Mango's got the short path. Good stuff. That's a good first shot, and he's taking a great line too. Other three players got long path. Now, if he looked at this and he gets long path now, he can just play it safe. That looks like double short, and it is. Wow, that is great RNG. He's just going to close this You one know out. what? They when do you make you finish it out. When you see that, as a player who's seen both of these paths many times, you see that, what it looks like to get that short, and you just, you're just praying. Same, yeah, same you really are. And it's another, I mean, to be fair, the it's butterfly mini game isn't the the, the funnest one, but I will say the most skill is involved. The, the, I say the least amount of RNG is involved. In which mini? In the butterfly mini. Game. Or the In battle game. Butterfly mini? Yeah, I agree. So it's it's as if you want to not leave it up to the, the face. The theme with the battle mini games is there is a pretty big element of randomness to each of them. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's completely oh, random, like Bowser's Big Blast. Another one. These coins are getting passed around. And another one. Kind of a funnel to Mango, though, at this point. Yeah, if he wins again, he's just it's just the tax man. Big 30. This is going to be quite a payday. Just there. enough to take it all from Luigi. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is the manly move. This is the strong, powerful move. So there are a couple of strategies you can go with here. Um, Basically, first initial pump is to like white is right, and that's the one you, you want to sort of head towards. After that, it's pretty well known that green is mean, mm -hmm. yellow is mellow. Oh, he knows how to pump fake. I like that. That's very. That's a very advanced technique. I hate being left. I'm so sick of this. I hope you died. Yellow is yellow mellow. is generally mellow. Looks like it. As is. we see now, red is dead. Red is indeed dead. So I would go with white or purple. I was gonna pick red. Red is dead. I would be careful about this one. Yo! Very yeah. nice, very well done. <laughs> Nicely played. The bomb is definitely white. Uh-oh. White? Oh my god. Is right, okay. okay. And the interesting thing about choosing this battle minigame is that you start and you then get a one in five, which puts, you know, you you have the best odds to survive. Yes. And so, although it is a random minigame, it's not completely, it's not a complete even split. Right, the, the, the probabilities change with every pump press and your position here. So for instance, Mango, because he was first, and then he had to go last. Now he has a 50-50 if it goes uh -huh. to him. Which is really to unfortunate that yeah. it's going to him. Yellow, typically mellow, however, it is green. Green is mean, and also serene. Yo. Green this time, not serene. Mango loses all of the coins. That He's he done. He's looking for another bill. <laughs> all right, and in up. a free-for-all, you don't have a homie to fall back on when you lose all this bread. That's true, and that's huge, because in, in teams what you can do is to count, sort of evaluate where you are in mini games and where you stand, um, things like that. And you can throw a mini game so your teammate gets to get your homie points. back up in the coin, sit to it, let him afford a star that he might be right in front of. That's right. Or if he's closer to mini game star than you are, you know you want to you want to boost the guy who's in the lead. Mm -hmm. So there's a very support carry role in a two v two. But free for all, you know you're off yourself, and a mini game like this can really end you. Another 50 50 for H bot. Or, wait, that he, was Amsa. So that means Zane is Larry on. Zane is in fact yeah. Larry. Green was again. Me. And Amsa's in a great position there because he's taking one in threes while while Zane would have to continue to take yeah. uh, coin flips constantly. Yeah. yeah. So I would say well done, Amsa, but... Looking at Amsa win anything is a win for everybody. I think so too, yeah. 
Now here it's pretty uh, pretty traditional yeah. snap in that situation. Snap in that situation, yeah. That's a rich get richer. <laughs> that is a rich get richer <laughs> situation. Sometimes, well, what we call it, we say keep them dumb, keep them poor. Exactly. And they, DK looking, he, he took a hit to the bank account, but Waluigi is dirt poor right now. Hits a healthy one. And you know, if we're getting really desperate in the game at home, we'll start snapping on those blue squares as well, hoping for a hidden block. Yes, and that, that is uh, quite a desperation play. Snapping at the CRT, though, is definitely asking the game for a blessing. Oh, Another oh, yeah. battle mini game. This entire turn. It's just all been battles. No way! This was the longest turn of uh, Mario Party in a long time. Yeah. I mean, we've taken a long time on the board making big calls before. That's true. So we go with Trace Race. Now, Miles uh, once once held the Trace Race title of being one of the best in the game. Yeah, I used to be up there. Other people definitely leveled up. I mean, 98, 99 just doesn't cut it anymore. No, it in doesn't. An game. We full hundreds, and I expect these players to... I think Mango's going to be great at this point. I think so, too. Uh, okay, he's, he's already All disappointed. Alright, he has a nightmare on the board, and it looks like Luigi is the... I don't know, Yosh, Yosh has got a good line. Now, what you want to do is go as fast as possible and save all of your time save for this loop so that you can go back over yeah. it. And that's a good, yeah, that was a good loop. So you don't actually go around, you just pull back at the cross of the loop. Exactly. And then you come up. And you, you want to be as far as possible forward when that comes. I feel like I, I think through a bit at the end there, and I think it's a clear <laughs> Luigi. Wall is on Smoko right now. Yes. Trying to draw it. That was the worst My money's on Yosh. <laughs> Healthy 98. Wow, okay. I was. That was my he first. really did start throwing at the end. You can kind of see it there wavering a bit. Luigi? Or yeah, uh, Yosh. Yoshi. Okay. But I would say otherwise, he did have a pretty good line. Big snap. And that's one for that's the That's what boys. you want to see from a snap. <laughs> Alright, so it seems that the entire board is finally past this battle mini game, but it's now time for a 2v2. Okay, these are all great 2v2s. Uh, great deflate. Uh, this one, so the problem with this is you'll say to your partner, jump at the peak. Uh -huh. But what you don't, what you have to also say is when to jump. Uh, or, well, I'm sorry, the, pound at the, the peak. The thing that happens in this minigame is one person squishes into the block and the other doesn't. So you yes. have to wait for... See, see yes. Yoshi is squishing a little. That was Larry on squishing now. Now Yoshi squished. You have to wait for your friend who's going into the block. Yes. And you, you need to watch that and see who squishes. And that visual cue of them standing up is when you jump. Exactly. That's a very clean <laughs> game by Donkey Kong World. <laughs> but it's a... Uh, like some task one, right? Yeah. No. Keeping up with who's inside the block and cannot currently jump is, is everything in that game. Yeah, and it's it arguably more important than jumping at the optimal height. Yeah, you need a way for your homie to come out of that little lag he's in. That's uh, Bowser. I miscalculated. That's why I'm a commentator, not a player. I'll say that much. <laughs> the game ate me alive. Yeah, the, the game really did a number on you. Not everyone was made for it. <laughs> A mini to get into that mini game right there, which Yoshi does have, but he's gonna have to spend that the next turn or possibly the turn after that. Now this is great for Waluigi because what he wants is a mini mushroom here to play the mini game in front of him. He <laughs> right. needs to be small to play that. Exactly. So this will be huge if he got it, and he gets a big man's. Big man's, unfortunate. Now if this was doubles, he could potentially use his teammate's mini in That's that right. spot. Yet another advantage of doubles adding to the complexity of the meta game. Uh, he's looking good on uh, versatility here for yeah. items, but his coins, also good. Yoshi getting that roll in front of Waluigi is really good because that makes his Mega now more valuable. He can stop both of them now. Yes, he can. And that's huge. Using a Mega Mushroom, to those who don't know, allows you to roll twice, but also makes you stomp the opponents in front of you that you pass on the board for 10 coins each. So it looks like... Zane and Mango are on a team, but Zane is not fully aware of what to do. So let's see how his mash is on this first lever. That mash is very fast. You can see that on the camera. We are blurring. FPS is not enough. Mango with... A, These aren't bad uh, single button mashes. Not the op most optimal mash, but Zane, look. Look at the hand motion. Wow. Yeah. H-box. H-box. Respectable. Pretty good. Mango is slacking a little. Yeah, I would say so. Now, so you keep moving. You never stop. You never stop. And on the second 
set of levers. What you want to see is both teammates cranking when one gets across. Yeah, you just crank with your boy. Yeah, you, crank you just crank it, you down. Crank it. Now, yeah, he's, he's going to jump off and start cranking with his boy now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He knows the strat. Let go, jump. A little stop there, run. a little stop. But not bad by team. 100 bucks on Opsa, still uh, not too bad. Okay, that's going to hurt. Now they got to get really trash pipes, and it looks like and these are good pipes, it. yeah. Okay. They're checking the pipes efficiently. And they got him, and this looks like a, a clean wash. We can just see the pipes just Ooh. for fun, maybe. Ooh. If they even I get to I don't it. understand what Luigi's doing here. This is the, You can go much faster here and get the maximum amount of air in that balloon. So what are the mechanics of this? Because I typically don't know. Is okay, it the analog so press or the digital press? It's the digital press, but also... See, DK, his hand is hitting the bottom. You can come straight up. You don't need to push it, like... You don't need to leave it at all down. I see. What, so, what about this strat? So, they're letting them catch up. This is a quite a troll play. I've seen this a lot. No! <laughs> team on the left were way too quick with their pumps, and team on the right were uh, way, too slow, way too slow. They could have been... Uh, they, were, they were leaving him down a little too long. In a, in a clean pump versus pump at zero, and they're even. Who wins that, you think? Oh, the right team for sure. Okay. Team left being fast like that is, is doing just, nothing. Okay. It's better to be a little too slow than like way too fast in that minigame. game. My seven. <laughs> Mango would have done well to use a big mushroom there. He could have stomped all three. Could have stomped and he could have gotten 30 coins. $30 would have really helped him out with the shop coming on. Exactly. Now, if these guys surpass him, oh, well, then he risks going past the shop. So ultimately a bad play for Mango. Yeah. And I'd like to see him think about the board a bit more. Somehow I don't think he's gonna. Me neither. Yoshi wants to undershoot the mini game here. Okay, this is a play. Maybe he says the mini game isn't worth it. I want to get that money. Yeah, he can get 20 coins right now, and if he gets a, I want to say about an eight, he might make it just before the shop. Also, that's actually not a bad first roll. That's perfect. Okay. He, he gets, he, he yeah, gets he a does, double stomp. He, he gets in between the shop and yeah. the minigame. The optimal would have been five, which is hard to hit with a mega. <laughs> but I think that was You hit was five. Hard. What happens is you steal 20 coins, you can still play the minigame next turn, and you have a shop. The thing is, though, now he's only two spaces from the shop, so he's much more guaranteed to make that next turn. True. That shop's going to be big, and I believe it's our first shop of the game, so I'm excited to see perhaps an item bag. I I'm trying to see a lamp. Get things spicy. This is a 3v1 game, which we don't often see in uh, the MPL because it is 2v2. So the aim here is DK's dodging and the other guys are spraying. And that's just how it is. And then... Yeah, don't, don't get sprayed down. He's getting boxed in a little bit. Yeah. You want to take him around the outside in this minigame. This is a... Uh, Uh-oh. Like two trailer park girls. How many hits does he require to be blown out? I think it's five. getting a lot darker. Five. I don't know about this one. I like this. Big dash dance. Oh, it doesn't Ooh, work yeah, out for Mango. You need to get out of that corner. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That that form right there. That was just like a, a gang initiation. Ten coins. Mini, all three. mini game style is really even. It is. Yeah. I think Waluigi's holding up a clean fourth, but everybody else is pretty close. So he does a big man's. And this he's surely going to surpass the shop. So he is, which is I, I the reason he should have done this last turn. But it's still fine. He's I still going to get a lot of coins. More concerned with keeping the others poor and angry <laughs> and frustrated than he is with shopping. <laughs> and he's going to get a clean twenty from that. Finally, we're looking at the map. I like the strategy here. Damn it, if I got that. Yeah, if he, he was Mango well, New, he's saying if I could have got a mush, there's a 50% chance he gets a mini, then he can go through that pipe and get a star. Right. Fortunately, he's going to have to go up on that. He could still cop a one here, and that would be huge. That's true. There's that one, and that's going to be a... Uh, unless he take, If he takes this vulture, he's going to take it for the coins. No better for the game here. Pretty hard to mess this one up. I'm just always trying to shop myself, but... Shopping is, I mean, you can get a big lead. And you can protect yourself with a Gadlight. Yeah, I mean, you can... There's a lot you can do. It gives you options. 
Standard roll. Oh, Yoshi with the first shop, unless he hits a. Let's let's see him hit the Gucci and the Louis. I want to see the Boo and the Lamp in there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I want to. I want to see him cop the floor in, and we got a lamp. Okay, we got we got the lamp. I, I hope he's played this game in. Ja I, I'm sure he can read English pretty well. Yeah. Probably. Very well. But I was just hoping he wouldn't be a nightmare on the shop. A nightmare on the shop would be something like buying a Sparky sticker by accident. Yeah, yeah. Even a swap card wouldn't have been the biggest throw. Yes. So what needs to happen is that Omsa needs to get a roll that's small enough to land in front of the pipe, but uh, large enough to get close to not have to spend a mini mushroom in a scary spot. Of course, of course. Now this mini game is pretty much all luck on who spawns on the outside. That's right. No, it's right there. So the outside has the advantage here because they can just capitalize. Now again in teams... They get first look at the golds. Yes. Yash on the outside, not killing it. Waluigi, unfortunately... You need to tap A, leave it about a half second and hit that B button. You're going to shoot for the middle row. Mm -hmm. I would say the most difficult row to get is the bottom row. And, and Mango's just cleaning up what's being left to him, you know? Yeah, and that's unfortunate. But the thing is, uh, what is being left to him is quite a bit. Oh, there were, there were a lot of golds in that first lineup. And Mango showing his ups. Waluigi might be catching up here. Whoa! Oh, yeah. That was clutch. With a buzzer beater. Ties it up. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can do if you're in It's so hard. Man. Yeah, Mango knows too. Mango understands the matter here. In our house, both both guys get inside. It's controllers down. Get another beer. Take a slash. Yeah. Just see you at the next mini. Reset yourself. Yeah. You know, you miss one gold and the other team are yelling at you saying you're, you're on smoker. <laughs> Small rolls coming out for Luigi here. So, Omsa with a lamp next turn. We'll see what he does with it. I'm not sure. He could he could afford to get to the star, buy it himself like an honest man, and then hold the lamp for star control. What he should do is wait till he has 70 coins and oh, no. hope that this star is still there so that he can warp by the star and then hit boost. Actually... He can then steal. No, he should do that now, in fact, because he could buy the star. Nobody else has a star. Yes. And then steal coins. He could steal coins, yeah, and yeah. that just keeps him dumb, keeps him poor. And that pays for the star. Mm -hmm. He's so He's so bad. But the thing about the lamp is that it's not something you just blow initially. Yeah, it's definitely better late game, but with the with the booze right there, you definitely want to use that combo. Yeah, it's huge. Because you can, you can star and booze at the same time. Now, here, the best path to take is ski up. There's a rock coming down. Closer to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, and if Mango's you get hit by taking, that, you're out of the game. Taking a good line on the wall here, but you yeah. can't press up too much, and Yoshi takes there, and there that rock is. takes the rock, and they're going to go no! down. There's that mid rock, and now there's another rock coming. Oh! Yeah, a little lower. So this is about a showdown between two, uh, what feels like seasoned uh, slope warriors. We're just going to take it. So we're gonna match it Zane was wearing his thumb out right then. Mm. That game has a very low we're cap on how fast rock. you can actually yeah, get. Yeah, you don't need to really mash, but Zane showed up, and he did what he had to do. Oh, yeah. Well, he has the land. DK's up? Is that battle? No. I thought it was battle too. You know, you and me. Have it, so it's and every time you land on the same space, Now, Zane in a weird spot on the, on the board, honestly. Yeah. Taking that vulture was maybe not the play. Potentially not, but if somebody gets the star now, it's going to spawn likely on the other side of the board. True, and he's got quite a few coins, which I think is puts him in the running for peak. Another lamp, an item bag, that's the gamble. He doesn't want to go for it. I wouldn't have gambled there either. I would have loved to gamble there. Two slots, I'll take it. Unfortunately, no item spot. He needs to hit a one or a two to possibly get a mini there. That's good. You can use He's getting the smallest rolls here. This that is was okay, good. but this no, stalls out the game right here. Also, it gets him okay. to the point where he could use a mega, and, uh, sorry, a mini, and go through that pipe, get the star. That's what I'm saying. He wanted a three or a four. Yeah, he wanted to get closer to the pipe because it increases your chances. Of, of course, of course. I think you right can number. still hit a four or five and make it. Yeah, you don't want to take that 40% line though. Okay, so long claw here. The strategy is that you want to scan the board for booze in this case, 
as fast as you can, windows are going to open, and while windows are closed, obviously you can't see anything, so you just want to move, you know, you want to keep moving. Yeah, in teams that typically, oh, Donkey Kong found his first one, the teams typically, one person takes one side, you say, I'm going right, your teammate says, I'm going left, Donkey Kong with another one, he might just close this one out yeah, if he gets lucky, and there it is. He was quick to see him, but he was also quick on quick to press him. That's right. Also, when, it, when, when the windows close in that game, you could smack him with your claw, and it opens the window, so you don't have to wait for the duration. That's right. Mango, I feel like, is one of those players that's good at the mini games, maybe not as good on the board. Oh yeah. He wants to get in there. He wants to scrap. He wants to establish dominant dominance on. He's just obviously great at games. Yes. Put him in a random situation, he's going to do well. Yeah. However, the strategic, the long game, the. The meta, if you will, I feel like he may be one of the weaker players. And yeah, games unfortunately are one on the board. That's right. Because only one star is one in mini, and possibly peak coin. You know what they say, minis for show, decisions for dough. That's right. <laughs> Never forget that. All right, Omsa's my next move here is going to be really important. He's going for the mini, so this is a 40% chance he gets through. Yeah. He's at a four or five. He's got a two and five here. That's wow, what I like and to see. Nails it. Absolutely wonderful. Doesn't quite get the start, of it, but the next turn he will, and that was just a great play. He's played this game before. He knows what he's doing. You got Mango and Zane versus Amsa and Thunderbox. You bring your boys up and Wait, no, I don't have Okay. Okay, Mango doesn't have Rumble, this game's gonna be a bit of a Oh, loss. that is rough. So another thing, if you don't have Rumble or if you, one of your triggers is out, you are locked out of a couple of mini games. So this is gonna be really interesting to you. You can how change Mango those mini games from uh, tactile to visual. Yeah, that's right, an exclamation point will appear above your head, but usually you gotta when, do that when the rumble happens, that means you will be blown off and we might see it here. He has to hold, and that is amazing. I can't believe he's doing this spot. Rumble is very hard. Yeah. It's all about the release here, optimally. That's right. When you're holding on, you want to release perfectly. Wait a little too long there, but while Luigi waited not long enough. I have no idea how Mango's winning this without Rumble. Oh. My reactions are fucking insane. I would say so. Holy shit. I think he's reacting to the snow getting heavier, which is the signal that it's the blizzard's coming. But also, when Donkey Kong starts to slip, there's a couple of frames where you can grab him back on. That what just happened there is Mango just held on for dear life. Yeah, he's playing yeah. it really safe because he's almost to the summit. When the other team slip first. <laughs> he's so scared. Wow. Zane just Zane just finished it off. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Don't worry." Well done by Mango. I've never seen someone perform so well without Rumble, and a lot of us have been in that situation. Before. Yeah, yeah. I've I've never seen anyone not fall. Mango here to explain what happened there. I know we were saying. Yeah, yeah. That was a godlike play. Wonderfully done. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. <laughs> Had to let the people know. Hungry box on Smoko. <laughs> see, we got item bag. My man loves to gamble, and he gets oh. three items. Let's see what he gets. Come on, come to daddy. I want to see a god light. Any? <laughs> uh, Elder Mega. Oh, oh, okay, not not the best. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you gamble, sometimes you lose. However, that hammer is underrated sometimes. You know what? Utility. Uh, it's too late. If he had one more turn before Amsa got to the star, he could in fact make him big with the hammer, and he would go over the star. An amazing play if it was possible, but Amsa just so close. I think Amsa could roll a one or a two, and that play would still be available. Yes, it would, and what a bad beat that would be. Two for a Bowser. Yeah, all that luck, all swap that work. space. Okay. He can swap Amsa out. No, no, he needs no, no, to go for Amsa for this one. Stay the fuck away from me, dude. Wow. Missed. I don't know if going for Amsa was the play because he's going to get the star next. Oh, then, sorry, if Luigi had have hit Amsa, he could have then gone to Boo and stole it right back. That's right. As soon as Amsa buys it. Yep. The levels. The levels. Slime. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, the board is where it all happens. Boo's your boy in this game. That's right. You want to hit Boo as many times as you can. When in a Boo shop is, is more like, it's... Another man's star is twice as valuable as your own. That's oh. right. <laughs> okay, we got the bottom right side of the board. Okay, oh, can only steal coins. I think the play is to maybe keep Waluigi dumb, keep him poor. He does have a lamp in his inventory. You make him work for that 20 coins. Anybody. Very interesting. I like that. Uh, honestly, there's 
there is probably a best decision there, but it, it's very minimal. Gonna be Donkey Kong. Uh, I've seen some mashes that are very effective. I've seen some not effective mashes. 23 coins, and that was not a very good match for Mango. I have seen a mash in my day to prevent coins up to seven being stolen. Yeah, it's, that's insane. And that was quite a night. I don't think the coin steal mash defense caps. I don't think so either. I think it's an unlocked attempt. Yeah, yeah, I, I really do too. Late I like it. For, for a 1v3 minigame, I actually enjoy Goal is good. But the, the others, they're often, the, the problem with them is they're often very skewed in favor of either the one or the three. I mean, it has to be. This is a tremendous balancing uh, challenge yeah, yeah. for 1v3 minigames. And this is one of the ones that's very, very skewed in the three. It is it is so hard to use that crane to catch three in a minute. The time on you get, when you do drop a crane, it's about five seconds you lose. So you kind of got to balance out your time, and you that's can, a huge You can thing. stall when you're in these balls also, and then speed up when you get near the crane. Mm -hmm. And the... Okay. So we went for one. It's it's hard, too, when the, the, the smaller opponents clump up, because this means he has to wait. He has to sit here and wait. What you want to do if you're the players Four. is pack up with the Shy Five. Guys. Six. Get in with those Shy Guys. About seven seconds, he went right for Mango, and he big whips. Yeah. At this point, he can't win. Ah! I'm shocked. I'm, I'm done. This is just a complete... Oh, he's standing. Wow. So this is a con concession in the minigame. Yeah. Picked up Shy Guy. Gotta let him go. If only the Shy Guys gave the one coin person... Uh, <laughs> sorry, the one player person coins. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Wouldn't that be... I think that would be a good mechanic. At the very least, a coin. One, right? You know? So... Bit of a skewed one. So Waluigi gets enough to lamp um, and get the star. Now, stealing coins beforehand would have been a play. We're on our last five turns here. Yeah, from Waluigi, could have kept him out of that lamp range. Yep. But now he's in the lamp range, so we'll see. This is, in a 15 turn game, it's going to come down to the bonus stars. There's there's three stars up for grabs at the end of the game, Anthony. And in a, in a 15 turn game, so, so few stars are going to be one on the board. That's right. So. So, lottery's up. Off the top of my head, Happening has only been hit once. I believe two times. I could be wrong. Okay. So that's two stars, I think, tied at one. He's going to skip the lottery? Interesting play. Honestly, in a 15-turn game, skipping the lottery isn't all that big of a deal, but it would lock up Coinstar that's if he right. was to hit the 100. He can't. Triple A? I can't get star? Okay. Oh, that's a oh, that's Ouch! What an absolute unfortunate blunder. But to be fair, what are you doing? You know what? It was actually a good call because there's two lamps on the map, and that's insane star control. I feel like Mango made a Hail Mary play. Well, Luigi got really lucky going. rolling a three there because that's a happening. He could have minied to increase that chance, but got it without. That's good. Gets to maintain his mushroom. Gonna 50 50 on a fun wish. Taunt's coming out from the other players. I really like that. I think Absa just likes to hear that Yosh make a noise. I think he does. I think that's why he plays him in the other game. He makes a lot of noises in that he game. Does. <laughs> yeah, but also he's gonna genie. He could also genie. Oh, yeah. Get 20. So he's gonna lamp. I'd love to know what turn it is right now. It's turn oh, 11. it was lost five turns just mm -hmm. then, huh? Okay. So I actually believe it's still turn 10. Yeah. Very thick. Someone say dummy <laughs> thick. Dummy thick. <laughs> he got that, that Audi belly button as well. <laughs> God said last night that it looked like a sourdough. <laughs> Looks like a hot cross bun. We were actually playing last night with some some young guy from around the way. We were at a, we were at the balcony at a pretty dead party, and uh, uh oh, we got a roll here. You know, usually what will happen is me and Nick are just relaxing. Oh, wow, he, and he hits it. Some random guy will start talking about party, talking about how he's a legend. Uh huh. And usually when we get him on the setup, it's um. We've it's had about a lot of mans come through our our house, our place of of competition, and say, I I'm good, I got this, let me on the sticks. 
and it's usually it's a, br a brutal bloodbath. A 91 in domination and a couple tiers later, and they're on their way. They're on their way. But this guy came in, I think he's ranked in SoCal PM, if that means anything. So it means that he's good at something, right? He's good at games. And he came and he put on a show. And he was good at Mario Party, and it was great to see. Definitely what better than an interesting average. start position. Look at that. Amsa's catching actually huge breaks here. Yeah, that he is can nice. get this the next turn. Does he have a mini too? I would really like to see Domination. I would love to see Domination, but we're going to go with Bomb on Breakers. Okay, so this is uh, like, if anybody ever played Bejeweled, it's like, you want to you create a three situation, you know? What, what the interesting part is, is the board, you can move anywhere on the board and play other players' exactly. placements. And that adds to a certain level of you can steal a line from someone else. You can use someone else's line to get yeah. a huge one. Um, it's a little like Dr. Mario, a little like Bejeweled, a little like Tetris. That's right. Now Yoshi with a strong lead, and he's already using the strategy where he is taking <laughs> the bricks from his neighbor Donkey Kong. Yeah, I mean, you want to be quick and see what somebody else is pulling up top and then use their strategy against also them. Also with an insane combo, he's up to 28 very early on. Now how the bombs work is you have to surround them for them to go off. Okay. I did not know that. I always just kind of threw them down. That's why yeah. I never win this one. Opsa and, and, uh, oh my god, wow, Luigi with an insane score right now. Now, Donkey Kong got filled pretty hard there. That's when somebody else fills up your board in an attempt to, to stop it. Whoa! A huge clutch from Yoshi! Passed up a 95 with a 102 and it looked like it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. A lot of chips come crumbling down just right at that last moment. Yeah, it really does. You can't, you can't just, can't let your hands go off the controller. That's the problem with filling somebody, especially in a, in a uh, <laughs> free for all situation, is that you need to be doing your own work. Whereas in teams, yes. you can deny somebody really hard and just fill their board up. Your other guy's doing work in his section of the board. That's right. And just ruin somebody's game. That's crazy. Ringer, ringer. DJ asking to be a ringer in trace race. This is going to be it's a mini, maybe an opportunity for. Nice. There it is. He can play that mini game up there, get an ice at him. Yeah. It would have been a mind game if he wasn't. Playing a mega. That's some, a uh, little bit of pocket change for him. He needed that too, because that allows him to potentially buy another star if he was to win the next minute. That's game. right, and it's uh, double coin spaces, so he, if he lands on a blue, he's going to get just enough. And he does. Oh, wow, yeah. then again. <laughs> so this could be huge. If Luigi wins this, that's coin peak star for sure. Yeah, I think if this goes big, uh, Hard mash. I would like to see they play the reaction game. Though. I would like that too, but uh, yeah, uh, Mango doesn't have Brumble. Oh, of so that, course. That's, honestly, they were mashing too. Mango would have just been out of that game. He has to guess. Maybe he holds on to someone else's controller with the finger on his, and I think that would be fair. That is kind of fair. I, we never thought of that We've never thought of that. Yeah, we usually just commiserate and be sad that we don't have Rumble. Red was not dead. Red is rosy this time. Yellow, typically mellow. Not this time. How's it feel, Amsa? Oh, have your dreams shattered. Amsa taken out. Now, again, Luigi is the person to watch here. If he wins this battle game, that is coin peak star for sure, especially late as it is in the board. No birds. Wait, what color was it? Green. Serene. Serene. No birds. Oh, we got yeah. D1. We got D1 hopping on. Yellow? Yeah. Oh, you're the guy Yellow. Okay. D1's hopping on the mic. I can't hear <laughs> Can we turn up we uh, might hear D from D1 D1's in a moment. cans? Wow. He's on uh, the most right position on the couch. Ouch! Purple is hurtful. <laughs> Cover for me. Alright, we're potentially adding a third man on this couch. Alright. I was gonna say, uh, when Opsa drew the bomb, Hungry Box was like, Do you wanna know do you wanna know how it feels? And I was like, I had to leave the room. <laughs> Got a little intense in there. Jesus. <laughs> To too have. topical, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> they're, they're all too close, dude. I can't, I can't have all three of these guys in the same room, you know. 
it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little tense. Zane, of course, he, he's safe. He's he, safe? Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about, you know, anything awkward. <laughs> but it's pretty dope seeing all these guys interact. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I'm so... You play much Mario Party, do you want? Actually, DJ Nintendo does. Yeah, I know he's keen on it. He's, yeah. he's always got the discs in his bag at tournaments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does. Oh, wow. He's all right. Oh, wait, you can hear the players. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a mic in the player. Oh, okay, sick. There. Wait, Deej, you going to hop on? Chilling? Chillax. Amso with another star. He's looking like he's running away with this game, but bonus stars are huge here. Yeah, and bonus stars are going to be huge in a short game like this. I really just want the shy guy with that hat to be a character in a game, dude. Just with the hat. I like the... He's the very stylish. He, yeah. I mean, he's on a safari, right? Maybe they add him same game, little Does pump. he have a little vest, too? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it kind of oh. looks like Yeah, that's it. not his full outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed that. I never did like, Is it gloves and a red jacket or just a vest? I don't know. Maybe he's like it's like a tanuki suit. It would be so sick if he had a holster, you know, just to go bang bang. For right. that for that goddamn thing. There you go. <laughs> Yo, he nice with it. <laughs> oh wait. I wanna see a goal. Very one of the more honest games here in the one. The way they spelled it looks like uh, the way the Hispanic <laughs> soccer commentators do it. Yeah. Goal! I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Luigi What's on the net. Luigi. And we got a man with a mustache defending the goal, much like a Spanish soccer game. Oh, that's right. Wait, they don't shave? Okay. Okay, this is not like a Spanish soccer game because apparently there are way too many balls on the field. Looking like a tournament. I like how they really didn't work out the animation for the goalie here. He kind of just meanders. Okay, there's a right, dive. Right, there's a dive. Some, that some. was some movement, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> He's getting faked. Oh, this okay. minigame is really hard to win One, for the two, three, in my three. opinion. Nice. Oh. Sometimes you just stay, stay still. Nice, beautiful block. Wait. Oh, that little jump with a, at the yeah, end with a bit of a, a bit of a dab almost. Was Luigi Zane? Yes, yeah, I had Luigi a feeling. Because if you notice the pivots too, like this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you saw He's definitely right. nailing that. <laughs> you reckon that's his Luigi Mario Party controller? What? Wait, <laughs> what? It's a special Luigi Mario Party controller just for those pivots? Yeah, this isn't UCF M oh. uh, MP4, so it probably has a special. Speaking of UCF, uh, what's the name of that game where they? Throw something that looks like an oversized hacky sack into the hole. Cornhole. 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 So, one of the yeah, guys. Yeah, we got UCF cornhole up there. <laughs> Adrian was <laughs> Adrian was throwing. He threw like two towards the hole, uh -huh. and they actually landed right on the edge. And DJ Nintendo and myself went freaking crazy because everybody upstairs that's playing keeps spamming UCF whenever they see a phantom here, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a phantom. We're all, oh. we're all flat earthers thanks to the moon. Yes, so, of course. So, you know, <laughs> we, the moment we saw those sacks on the edge of the hole, we all just spammed UCF. And yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> DJ Nintendo will be posting the tweet very, very soon. That's good. I'm glad you got a picture of the phantom. Yes. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, you're you're. That's what happens throws. when UCF is even in the house. Yeah. It's it affects the outside, too. It's the outside world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> slime. Actually, another thing happened. So... Swedish Delight was playing a friendly against one of the Falco Bayans, right? And he barely messed up his gimp. And when he messed up, he looked up at me and went, UCF. And then after that, Armada turns at me, it's true, dude. And then West Balls looks at me, D1, it's true. And then Ben has up, D1, it's true. And I legit thought I was part of your skit because I looked around for a camera. You thought you were getting clowned yes. on? Yeah. I legit thought it was a skit, dude. I was like, what's happening here? That's, so That's like funny. some like Stepford Housewives thing. It's just like everybody is just this like, yeah, UCF causes phantoms. Yeah, and D1's <laughs> like, wait, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was out of control. Oh, it's we like, got another lamp. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> you start questioning reality. Yeah, yeah. Dummy thick. Yeah, seriously. So Amsa, I think, is just running away with this one. I'm oh, trying to see yeah. how he gets into those pants every morning. Right? right. I mean, it looks like a hard fit, hard squeeze. Indeed. That belly. Amsa about to hit three stars, but I will say I don't think he's got any bonuses locked down, but it might not matter at this point. And unfortunately, there was no chance time for the, uh, for the bonus on the last uh -huh. five turns. It's just double coins. You know what? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big chance time hater. Yeah. And for a man who takes Mario Party so seriously, you sure do get mad at RNG. When you've played a lot of Party, the last way you want to see it go is chance time. Chance time, funnily enough, is not RNG. That's true. There's strategy to it. However... Can you take it for me too? Okay, yeah. I'll see you in hell. 
Wow! Oh, it doesn't have no, coins. No, it doesn't have coins. That would have been an insane play. Yeah. Yes. Way. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, Apps is still in first place, but so Luigi's got coin star locked up. Waluigi definitely does not have mini game or coin. I think I Waluigi's out of the race. I don't think he has happening. But the, the problem is that Waluigi has two base stars, right? Yeah, yeah. So the bonus stars. That's are not going to be enough. The bonus stars are going to broke mans, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think if Amsa, Amsa has two stars right now, correct? Three. Three. If he top. locks up one of the bonuses, he's done. He, he yeah, wins. It's, yeah, that's GG. When you say broke mans, you're saying uh, actually not having any uh, currency. A lack of bread. Understood. <laughs> Damn, all right, so I here's the thing about this. I don't know what, what to do here in this game. You have to just go for the person no. that's making the most. Look, yeah, like Amsa's cleaning house. Yeah, Amsa's yeah. gonna win this. Uh, but go. we uh, we have to play two v two. No, I think Waluigi's gonna run away with yeah. it. Amsa was oh. too late. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Waluigi won. Oh, you're a dick. Wonderful. Yeah, he's a, not, see because Amsa started covering his way too late. Yeah. So. Yeah, all the you want. Oh wow, it's got a pink tip and everything. No, you can't. Oh, wow. oh, you guys were oh, way wrong. wrong. He was too slow. <laughs> Waluigi was too slow. Yeah, he Waluigi had, had had a big opportunity. <laughs> Can we just talk about how Amsa timed out Hungry Box yet again? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's a, on and off the, the melee. <laughs> too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. All right. Wait, how many turns that, was that? That was actually an insane timeout as well. Game. Oh, the way he yeah, ran so away at the end. Yeah, that timeout yeah. was exciting all the way. No, what, a, what a weird future of melee. But timeouts are the most exciting games now. Some people were actually telling me that they think maybe we should lower the uh, timer so that if there are going to be timeouts, at least we don't have to sit through eight minutes, maybe six. What do you guys think? I think that changes. I mean, we're, if we're already seeing timeouts now, do you want? There's, playing for a timeout would be much more of a strategy. Yeah. It implies Wait, that I think that heavily nerfs Puff. The thing is, we, we haven't, we've seen close timeouts, and those are exciting, but you want to see like a two-stock timeout? No one wants to see that. Nobody, well, yeah, yeah. So I think that's, uh, that's that might be a little dicey. I feel it. Eight minutes. I mean, we we had it for years, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we're good. Yes. Battle please, battle. Trace Race, please. No. DJ wants to see Trace Race. Are you going to be a ringer? ringer? If they get DJ? it, do you get to go play? They, they might. One of them might. Ringer, yeah. ringer. Is that a loud slot? I mean, yeah, it, once per game. Okay, cool. We've never seen a control slot uh, to a man not So the Mango doesn't have a rumble, so they can't do that one out of respect. You don't need rumble. For the... the Oh wait, is that take a breather? Oh, that I think that is take a breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never mind then. I think he thinks. Yeah, that was the LNR. Yeah, like the, me, he thinks it's the uh, fishing reaction game. Uh, that, that one is in fact just a regular four player mini game. So what are we right. to expect here again? I, you just have to uh, hopefully take the shortest path twice. Ah, okay. Yeah. Every screen change is RNG. Yeah, it's RNG. Waluigi so suffering Yoshi again. took a short path, same as Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong oh, fell yeah. on his short path. Yeah, this would be big. Yoshi has to mess up here or get bad RNG with no more messes up. And he's got another Kong. short path. Oh, wow. yeah, he won. Yeah, I'm so out here just yeah, this game is free. tearing it up. Yeah, free! Bad RNG for DK as well, but he will get second. They make you play it out for the rankings, for the placings of the coins. So. DK fell anyway, so he didn't really deserve a second oh, short man. path. Look at Hungry Box's path. Ooh. Oh, Mango with a pump fake. <laughs> yeah, he definitely about to get that pity. The pity star we were talking about. <laughs> uh, participation award. Hey there, Junior. Here's a sticker. Mango pulling an old school HBox standing up to see his opponent's controllers. Dude, I remember at Anaheim 2014, MLG, seeing him get up, move the chair. I was like, all right, this is my Jim Ross moment right here. And there goes the chair! <laughs> I was so happy. Uh, I'm not a fan of Rider Left, honestly. Yeah, I don't like I love this mini game. I don't like it because it doesn't feel. I feel like you're limited by the mechanics of the game rather than letting yourself. Much like Melee, you're not limited by the mechanics, you're limited by yourself. Okay. Well, right? a lot of the mini games in this game are very limiting. This one feels egregiously so, and I'm not sure why. Teams. There's, there's like one very particular line you want to take in this minigame that never really changes. That's true. You know, a big, uh, you can take the, the best line you can, but it's usually on the, the last fire dodge. You have to hard pivot if you want that record time. Yeah, that's where Now they're going to run right into a rock here. Fire's oh. going to come out. They're going to get right past it. I like that. Oh. Team on the right are on a slightly better line. Yeah. Yeah, I love their lines, the right team. Okay. You want to take it out oh, just so slightly? Oh, no. They're oh, going to fire. They went too fast, but they both It's still fire. pretty free for right team. Yeah. This is uh, very close. I hear oh, some wow. Oh, no. Whoa. Red team with I the bad line. Wait. Who got it? Who won? 
I didn't think they had it. <laughs> I, th I thought they, that just, line I think was they just didn't mash at, at the end because uh, team on the right were hit first, which generally means you win if both teams take a hit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're, if you're on the same line, it just becomes your how straight you're going. So. Mm. Last turn. Luigi definitely has peak coin right now. Mini game, I think, goes to Mango, but I'm not sure. Happening, I believe, also goes to Luigi. Yeah, I was about to say, at this point, since it's the last one, you kind of have to burn your items if they're going to give you an advantage, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, so he Gumball. minis Luigi. Oh uh, I, oh, lottery would be Gumball. huge here, but I actually think it still doesn't oh, give him yeah, enough. Yeah, I don't think it gives him enough either. Oh, that's oh. a brick. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> DK slaps the <laughs> We've actually never really seen any of DK's animations. Yeah, we typically banned. don't play him. Yeah, we have yeah. him banned out of respect for an older player that no longer plays Mario Party. Oh. That's okay. They, I mean, they didn't know, so. Like, is it a, 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 an old friend? Yeah. Yeah, okay. someone who doesn't play anymore. <laughs> All right, understood. I like, you retired Jordan's number or something. Yeah, right? oh, okay, honestly. Uh, you know what? I don't think the, the guys have heard from him since. I know. <laughs> okay, easy for uh, swap. Doesn't really matter much here. Just have as a friend to hang out with. Still my least favorite <laughs> Nintendo character, 100%. Least Waluigi? Yes, me and DJ, DJ tell him. Tell him what we yeah, talk about. Yeah, Waluigi's pretty ugly. The he's ugliest piece. Whack, yeah. Ugly, dude. If he's, he's in the next Smash, I might have to break at least one disc. I saw oh, a, it's a cartridge. Never mind. Can't do it. <laughs> I saw a, a, a write up about how he was the most postmodern character in Mario, which is a oh, pretty good he's, read. He's mirroring. He's, so he's mirroring something that didn't have a source to begin with yeah, and yeah. became his own thing. So it's like this weird removed concept, right? Mm. Um, so I also read that. It was like a college article. I think it was just like a shit post. Yeah, but it was like <laughs> which, that, which kind of may be the same thing. That was like the the write up style though. Yeah. Mm. So we got uh, take a no, breather here. This is insane mash, and then you go down, and then it. Oh, oh. no! That is instant it a, DQ in our house. Wait, what happened? What happened? Goes, a pause. Often happens. What you need to do is you need to turn the controller buttons away from you, squeeze the controller in between your legs, and then mash. They did not do that, and we got a pause in the field. It looks like I'm saying it's not supposed to mash actually for this game. Oh, explain. That's why it's 14 sec. I have 14 seconds. How? I mean, it's left, right, left, right. Yeah, it's left, right, but you. You can't be pressing it too fast. Really? Whoa. This is news to us. That is definitely news to That's us. That's all I got 14 seconds. <laughs> Tell him, DJ. He actually has a couple what, of What's records. the rhythm? It, it's like fast, but not like. Not you know, insane. Like, not yeah. like insane, yeah. It's not domination or something. Like. Interesting. Yeah. I, I, you have, you've hit 160, right? No, no. I suck at mashing. Oh, okay. I suck. <laughs> what's, yeah. What the hell? La Luna, though. La Luna is like the best at domination. Does he hit 160 consistently? Yeah, like nothing. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's great. I like to hear that. Come on. Come on. You hate to hear about a masher who's not putting out 160. That's true. Oh. Deacon and Luigi both got happening. Okay. I don't think that actually affects the game too much. I don't think so. Point star. Point star's going to go to Luigi. It's all going to be. Yeah. about Luigi, yeah. but I don't think he put up the numbers. If Yoshi's happening, I don't know if that ties it up. Oh, wait. No update. Oh, this is happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> no! Oh, wow. wow. It's going to come down to coins. Yeah. Luigi has it. Luigi has the wow. coins, too. And a rage quote from Hungrybox putting out his uh, controller in a fit of rage. I'm sorry. Did Luigi just win? I'm sorry. I got mini games started. I'm sorry. How did mini games start getting loud? I'm sorry. Wait, I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. Out of control! Oh! What? Yeah, and it, it came down to the tide happening. It really did. That's insane. I can't wow. believe it went like that. Man. Well, Amsa's not the two time <laughs> champ. <laughs> oh, wait. Toph. Yeah, when you win with all that, it's not. I gave him more, but I got it. So we play Mafia now? Is that Dude, the plan? I came downstairs with like four turns remaining in the game, and Zane was like, uh, yeah. I like looked at Zane, I'm like, I'm just fucking you guys up. No, so Zane is like, I'm so was okay. He's like, I'm dominating. Win. He said he was going to win. He said he was going to win. He's like, no, 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 I got this. He's like, I'm pretty sure. Can we get uh, the fifth I was like, mic turned on? Win? He's like, yeah, let's get these mics on. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. Tell us how it, tell us how it went down. You like that shit? I do like that <laughs> shit. Yeah, you fell behind, my man. You were trailing. Yeah, that's long con, dude. Yeah, nice. Now, yeah. did, did any strategy go into landing on happening or coin peak or any sort of bonus star strategy meta? Yeah, so I wanted the happenings like really early, so I got two, right? And then I just like built coins the entire time and like tried to win every minigame. Yeah. 
And because they're like only 15 turns, right? So I just yeah, like yeah. It you changes. knew that bonuses were going to be important because it's such a short game. Yeah, that's huge. And Mango did end up winning mini game, which he was we particularly tied. proud of. Yeah. Oh, that you tied. That's right. I was wondering what that tie was. That wasn't happening. That was a tie. Mini game. We teamed I'm a lot. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they both got a star for it. Yeah. That's insane. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so you obviously had Coin Peak. Mm. You everyone, everyone knows that. You won mini. Yeah, we you tied. didn't. Well, you yeah. tied. We you know what? <laughs> I haven't seen a tied mini in so many, like almost ever. That's insane. I can't believe that happened. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and you're in winners tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's looking up for Zane after that. That's just piss icing poor on the cake game. after winning Mario Party. Uh, the, let's not talk tomorrow. about the mafia game, dude. Okay, we won't <laughs> have to. Let's not talk. We can about talk it. about it later. We can. We can talk about it later. Okay, we will. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, it's it's wonderful to see and just a, a master strategic. Play. It's you. great to see Thank these you. melee players play the game that I cherish so close. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. take a little time with my game, Mario Party, and and really just enjoy it. You know, yeah, we flew in him, flew him in from Australia as an expert to commentate this specifically for Mario Party. That's just right. Mario Party Four specifically, yeah. Nice. So anyway, again, Zane, congratulations. It's Thank you. Great to see. <sighs> hey, so what's the what's the prize pool here for first in Mario Party at Summit? It, it's six hundred thousand dollars. Okay, oh my cool, god. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me like that. I actually have no idea. <laughs> he, he was like, he, he, he had dollar signs in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, he just like, bring. He was like, monster? Can I get a? <laughs> can, let me get a check. <laughs> monster girls jump through the windows with checks saying Mario Party. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what we're what we're up to next. Uh, it's Mafia next. Mafia next. Oh yeah. Yep. So. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on the couch. Me and my good friend Miles. You'll, you're actually going to see us and our friend Dawson later on for the Bad Melee podcast, which will be taking place in a very secret location of the house. Um, so we'll be back. We'll be back. I, I'd like to thank Miles. We flew him out from Australia on a red eye. Yeah, it was a rough nice. flight, but I was glad to be here. Yeah, it, and fifteen tons of Mario Party was definitely worth the trip. I would think. I would yeah. say so. So we're going to go to a break, and then we're going to go with some Mafia. Let's do it. Later.